Hoo-wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie Bialdi. All right, so I got stuff in, in the camera's angle. So we're already starting off with a great video. You're welcome, Ben. So here it is, another, another amazing Jack Wolf Knives knife. Now, he once did a slip joint called the Benny Clip, and he decided to up the game. And he went with a frame locking version of that knife. And I couldn't be more excited. A, because I love his frame locks. Not only do I love his frame locks, this is my gun bag. One is out with me every single day. Um, but, and then I have them. Do, 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 do. I'm so freaking well prepared. You're welcome. So, this is my my go-to box with all my favorite knives in it and you can see well that's a slip joint but you can see a couple more right there jack wolf knives frame locks i freaking love them just freaking love them so this one is no difference i mean it's cool so let's go over the packaging first because a lot of people love it the um the benny it was um Named from another knife uh, called the Lenny that uh, another guy designed. And it was just a very similar style. And when he dropped his interpretation, he called it the Benny because, you know, it was his own it was his own version. And he didn't want to take anything from the original um, designer. But I have to say the artwork, very, very cool on this guy. Speaking of, artwork is very, very cool. We got to... Um, get to do to do to do all the specs and everything um and i'm going to show you the the different versions of this knife that they have um there we go i don't know if if all the specs are laid out yeah oh yeah there they are there they are i found them they were underneath part of it okay so opening up opening up opening up we haven't even gotten to a knife yet i've already been talking to you for 12 minutes all right so let's see so here is the pog all right, you got the artwork on the pog. The artwork is done by um, Sean Tiffany. Should have already known. Uh, very, very nice. I love this cloth color, that polishing cloth. So because it's a frame lock, you can remove the pocket clip if you would like. I don't know who in their right mind ever would, but you could, and he offers you a filler that means if you have the pot clip on there and you take it off it's going to leave a little hole where the pot clip goes into this plugs that hole it's a little plug so outside of that you have two stickers i remember the first time i got one of these i didn't know they came with two stickers so i thought i got an extra one i was like yeah right on i guess everybody gets two um so this is my first time really looking at this um it just says straight fire uh so just the artwork is always top notch with everything that comes out of this but the major artwork whoosh, is right inside of here and as always you get your jack wolf knives polishing cloth <laughs> i freaking love it here's here's something i love it's a saber grind boom saber grinds flat grinds i love them when you're putting a little bit more meat in, in these blades especially for how i use a knife i love that and this thing i mean this is jack wolf knives and look how meaty that is you don't see that every day this thing is freaking amazing can't wait to get it outside because we got some sun bouncing in and out of the clouds and it, only the sun does it justice but you can even see the fat carbon in the regular light this is freaking gorgeous now it is a frame lock and here's something that Ben must love my description of. Because whenever he puts out a frame lock, it comes with a pocket clip. And this pocket clip, I think, is beautiful. It's classy. It gets the job done. But it does remind me of something. Do you remember in the 1980s, we had those douchebag ties? They were just like a straight line. Sometimes you'd see, like, guys, they have a, a, a tie with piano keys down it. It reminds me of a 1980s um, uh, p uh tie like a necktie except so much nicer so here's here's where you're gonna see what i was talking about the uh this right here the pot clip goes into this section and you see how that works there if you wanted to remove this 
you could and then you can actually just replace it with that and uh i don't know why you would want to because it's beautiful and it's a pocket clip it works you you could hook it up to anything the weight of this knife because it's a saber grind if you'll notice is a much different snap than some of the other ones because it's just harder i mean that that blade weight so you'll see there's ways to open it you can flick it with the thumb there's a whole bunch of different ways you can you can open it. his stuff is so nice man um you can spidey flick it so flick it with the middle finger you can do a pinch and pull right um and you can um pinch and snap so there's different ways to open it however you want i don't think you can power flick it because he makes them really well and they are in there um uh his his makers are just amazing so there's not much to go over it is a gorgeous clip point look at that sharpening choil the ricasso area right here look how high dug that dug in that is it's just really nice looking um you do have full spacers going all the way around you do have jimping at the top you do have the pencil fullers that are just gorgeous you have the triple flutes and if you'll notice there is no bolster in the rear that was one of the things that was popular on this style um and it's big it this is this uh, out of all of them i i probably going to say is my favorite um because the size alone i mean this is man hand size this 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 is man hand size i'm a i'm a big man i got ginormous hands and um this is really comfortable to me this is really really comfortable to me um it lines up just absolutely dead nut it is just perfect all right i had to get my screen lit up man it was it was going black on me all right so um so the pattern on this whoof damn that's nice is the lanny's clip we just explained all that um so it is a frame lock bolster lock and it's on ceramic bearings and that's why it flies like a bird it flies open man um it is fat carbon white storm uh the bolsters and liners are 6al 4v dark blasted and tubbled titanium as a matter of fact i believe all the hardware is the screws the um the spacer the clip it's all the same it's all blasted and tumbled titanium you do have the hollow ground crucible s90v um it's just so nice it actually feels in your hand it's going to feel like a flat grind it's going to feel because of the weight of it it's there's something i don't know what it is about it but it makes it there's such a meaty feel for a hollow grind i don't know why this thing is cool um it is a stone wash finish on the blade i think he has some different finishes on the other ones uh the closed length is 4.29 inches that's that's nice that is so nice um the blade length is three and a quarter inches so you have more than um four and a uh four and a quarter and then you have uh three and a quarter on the blade so it, it's it's gonna fit the hand it's just gonna fit the hand um let's see the cutting edge is 2.86 uh inches and uh blah 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 oh scale to scale we're looking at uh just about a half inch it's 0. 0.46 um 0. 0.58 if you include the clip it is a three millimeter blade stock it feels like a bigger blade for some reason um and the rockwell is 60 to 61 i was just saying okay let's take it outside and go cut but i totally forgot to show you the uh the flavors of the month so let me just show you the different configurations so this one is called the uh it's the ultim which is the color and it is a blast and tumble finish very nice this is that full titanium that he does with that cross stitch. Um, it is a hand satin blade on this one. And I don't know what happened. There's some purple in there. <laughs> this one is called the Fat Carbon Mars Valley. 
and it looks like it's the same finish as the one I have. This thing, this is another one of these fat carbons. You got to get them in the sunlight. This is the fat carbon Arctic storm. <laughs> I mean, I wish, I wish I could show you that in the sun. And of course the fat carbon white storm, which we are about to go take out in the sun. Ooh, we got some sunshine dipping in and out of some pretty thick clouds over here today. But until it, until it go, I think the sun's like dead straight above me. All right. Oh, damn, that pops. Now I can't see because all I see is glare, but I'm guessing you can see what's happening here. Eh. <laughs> I mean, in the sun, in the sun, in the sun, all the fat carbon stuff, this is what it does, man. It is just gorgeous, 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 along with this super finish. So now what I think I'm going to do is a bunch of uh, like repetitive cutting, just cut, 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 cut to, um, because we all know, I mean, I, I do so many Jack Wolf knives. We know, we know what they're all about, but I want to cut repetitively and check, uh, recheck edges. So, first of all, we need to make sure it's sharp. Make sure I'm in the in the frame because one time I I did a shave and I was like this, and you could see me doing it. I was kind of like this, and you could see me doing this, but I was off camera just a little bit, and then I I was like, oh, look at shave sharp on a different knife, and um, somebody was like. Oh, well, how do we know? You didn't show it. It was You could have just put hair. I was like, shut the hell up. So check this out, man. These knives, as always, come super duper razor sharp. As all, I mean, as freaking always. They're just, <laughs> looking at them in the sun makes me, it makes me happy. Makes me happy. All right, so let's see here. Let's see here. Let's try and get a, uh, get a nice push. <laughs> all right i'm saying let's try and get a nice push cut as it was just freaking flowing flowing through here we go now i used a knife the other day to cut this hose that worked out really well i have a weird feeling that this might do even slightly better <laughs> i mean come on this thing is it like glides through I, this thing's moving on me but you can see it gliding through so much to the fact that let's see look at that <laughs> this thing is freaking sharp and that's that's one thing i've come to to know about jack wolf knives knives um is they all come with an absolute razor freaking edge let's see here Let's just cut down. Let's cut down and try to get it to not fold on us. Let's see here. <laughs> ah, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. This is so freaking nice. Let's do a couple four foot drops and uh, see how that gravity bite goes. Bam, look at that tip. That tip, that just dove into that stump. Bam! Couple hard downwards. Bam! I know you're not supposed to throw them because it's not a designed throwing knife. What if it breaks? What if it blah, blah, blahs? I'm throwing this harder than I threw another knife that recently bent. <laughs> throwing this harder. But guess what? That tip is perfection. That tip is absolute perfection. So... I just got stuck on a stick. Stuck on a stick. That's going to be a new song. I got stuck on a stick. It made me sick. Whoa. This thing is so freaking nice, man. So. <laughs> so crack a lacka. All right. Before we, uh, before we get over and do the repetitive cutting on what I want to cut, I figure we'll just come over here and cut a couple other things too because... I saw it from across the yard, and these things just grow like crazy. There we go. There we go. Just, it's a never-ending saga with this stuff. So, um, I know I said we're just going to do some repetitive cutting. 
but I think I changed my mind. We're going to do repetitive cutting, but I also want to drop the knife. Um, I also want to have a hard piece of wood. I also want to do just one kindling stick. Just one. Just one kindling stick. Let me see. I don't, I don't know where my, uh, my baton is somewhere under all this mess. Hey, I found it. All right. Lost it the other day. I found it today. All right. And there's a slug on it. That slug shouldn't be there. Jack Wolf knives. Killing slugs since 2024. All right. So let's do a little, uh, I know this one's kind of thick, but <laughs> slug guts. Maybe that's his new knife. His new knife is going to be the slug guts. All right, let's see here. It's a hollow grind. And I'm smashing the tip. But it's no problem. Because, 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 because of the wonderful things she does. I mean, it's Ben Belkin's knives, man. These things... These things are always good. I absolutely had no plans on doing this. None. But once you put a knife in your hand and you realize, man, this knife is so awesome. I just want to do things with it. <laughs> that may have came out wrong. I want to take it in a closet. Make sweet love. All right, here we go. So let's, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Golly. So, edge geometry, edge geometry, edge geometry, edge geometry, and they even added a little bit of edge geometry. Um, come on, baby, light my fire. This thing is nice. All right, now we're going to go do some repetitive cutting. Now, I got stuff crawling on me. I got stuff hanging off me. I got cobwebs on me, but I have the nicest knives on the planet in my hand. In my freaking grip. All right, so I've been doing a lot of woodwork over here. And uh, I have this pine and we've been grinding away on the, on the saws. And it's left me some nice thin pieces, which I thought would be really cool to come out here and do a whole bunch of this stuff with. And I really hope I'm in the in the shot. I'm getting glares. I can't see. But you guys know I'm there. You guys know I'm there. So I hope. Look at this. Just over and over and over again. And I have to do this because I literally cannot see if I'm even in the shot. And it's kind of important. All right. And there we go. There we go, there we go. Just over and over and over again. I was right through a knot, <laughs> you see it right there? Golly, just cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Ooh, I know, I know repetitive cutting is absolutely boring to watch. I can't stand it personally, but I really, really, really want to show off the edges of, um, of what he does. I mean, these things, it's shredding. It is shredding. I have splinters everywhere. And this is, let's see, this is about four to four and a half millimeters thick on the spine where I'm doing the actual cutting. And it's shredding it like paper. It's, it's like doing a paper cut test on wood. Just so nice. Look at that. We're going right through a knot. Just tearing it up. Hollow grind. You can hear the flicking. Still got some guts on there. Um, and it's just no problems. No problems. <laughs> I love these knives. Man, I'm gonna get splinters in my boots. I'm gonna step on one and all you're gonna hear is, I got a snake in my boots, man.
<laughs> just over and over again the cutting the cutting is for real it is for real the edge I'm all sweaty so it's all wet now <laughs> the edge is still razor did I just drop it oh here it is razor shave sharp razor shave sharp let's do some more hey d-bad what about that tip since it is a hollow grind can you do any like bow hole drilling anything like that well let's see is it going to ruin the tip is it going to bend the tip well no let's get more angles so hit the more edge so we can get the hole even wider and bigger and deeper and hear that grind Yeah, we can drill holes with this thing. Let's see all the bending in the tip. None? It's freaking perfect. It's perfect. All right, let's go over to the one inch. I'm a little sweaty right now. I'm a little sweaty. All right, let's go to the one inch forest trees. Oh, we got some vines hanging here. These always need to be cut. These always need to be cut. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's wrap up a few layers of vine. Get that edge in there. <laughs> I didn't even press against it. It just went. Just freaking went. Ooh. Just went. Oh, I love it. Love it. All right, so this is, this is starting to bloom at the top here. Let's see. Because it's because it's nice and big in the hand, we should be able to have no problems swinging it. Let's see. Bam! That was beautiful. I can't see, but I'm assuming you can. Bam! That is beautiful. All right, let's find this one's overhanging on the driveway. So let's clear off some of these little guys. I'm in the shot. I'm in the shot. <laughs> All right. This is nice. Bam. Bam. Let's hold all these together and see if we can't get through. Who's your first love? Jack Wolf knives. Um, it's just incredible. Let's see. We got some of this over here. These are growing. You can hear it. It's not like soft stuff. Let's see. But this just blows right through. Bam! This one's soft. And it blows right through. Um, so. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on, man. <laughs> these are phenomenal I think I think I'm gonna say it this might just be my favorite Jack Wolf knives knife the size alone is absolutely like gee thanks <laughs> you made one for me it's just fits so well in the hand it's comfortable. The, I mean, you're talking about a classic, classic shape. And, um, whew, I mean, classic shape like me. So, uh, if you're into ugly shapes. But check this out. This is a beautiful shape. I mean, that long clip, that just, it's just so good looking, man. Um, and the action is just super smooth. I bumped it into my hand, as I said it the first time. I'm a genius. Um, just such a nice knife. Such a freaking nice knife. There's nothing. I mean, nothing not to like or love about these. Nothing. Bam. The Benny Jack Wolf Knives. Go to his website. Look at his dealer's list. Check these things out. Completely worth it. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.